This might be a really small world, but two miniature collectors are going to have to think big in their battle of wits and skill if they want a chance at winning our fabulous mystery prize today on Collector Showdown. It's theatrical to me. I like to do things my own way. This is my version of a question mark. Is it? <laughs> oh, at least I can make a better question mark than you can. Oh, yeah. And 10. Oops. This is a tough challenge. Oh, yes, it is. Sharpen up your exacto blade. I'll be there. Let's go. So you better watch out. here at the Little Doll House Company, a great big store filled with the smallest of wonders and all of the comforts of home. If you're about this big, this is the perfect place to stage a bite-sized showdown. On Collector Showdown, there are two challenges. First, a test of knowledge. Second, a test of skill. If our contestants are tied after the first two rounds, we go to Sudden Death Showdown. The stakes are high and the winner takes all. The prize will be a dream come true for only one of these two collectors. Will it be Heather, the talented artisan who makes most of her own doll houses and furniture? Or Martha, the sentimental collector whose doll houses are a tribute to her mother and daughter? You are just gonna have to watch and find out. I don't think that there's a real typical doll house collector or miniature collector. There's those that uh, love the best of the best and most unique, that there's those who are trying to recreate their home, and therefore to them the accuracy of what is there, what they used to have, is very important. It's amazing how people get really into this and I just keep thinking small. It can be an addiction. Despite what you might think, dollhouse miniatures are not really child's play at all. This one-of-a-kind, hand-carved John Otwell Victorian Renaissance bed retails for $1,290, and that's without the mattress. My name is Martha, and I collect miniatures, and I've been doing so for about 35 years. Hi, my name is Heather. I'm a miniature collector. I've been collecting and a member of a miniature club for about 13 years. I like to collect because I like that, that tiny microcosm of a society that you can get with all the small pieces and how you can make your own life and your own scene. It's theatrical to me. I think I've always been a miniature collector. I love to make things and I love collecting. The fun thing about miniatures, I think, is that you can use your imagination to create a scene and usually a story comes out of it. My daughter enjoys playing with it alone because she knows that she can do exactly as she pleases with it and it's all about the people for her. Oh dear, are you okay honey? I think so. Well, I see dumpster in the hammock. Not very good. Hey, that was my hammock, I was lying there. But for me it's still about the placement of furniture, the interior design, I'm very interested in the art. This is my hobbit house. I, uh, I was walking my dog one day and a man was cutting down a tree and I thought, oh wow, that would make a really great house. Uh, so I asked him to hollow it out and I made this hobbit house. I have two doll houses now, one that my mother got Molly when she was three and then I have the Queen Anne, which I just bought. I don't make them myself, I buy all my stuff made. I've probably constructed 25 or 30 room settings. I like to make the choice about what's going to go into each of my structures. I like to choose the wallpapering, for instance. I usually make my own carpets. I like to do things my own way. This is my Queen Anne dollhouse from the back. And as you can see, it's quite the extravagant house. It's uh, finely finished with chandeliers and wood floors with urethane, and the workmanship in it is just superb. That's why it costs $6,000. This is my garden shed. I've been collecting for it for quite some time now. I did it about uh, three years ago. And every time I go out to a show, I find something uh, more interesting to put in there. We've been collecting the Fisher Price Dollhouse Loving Family for some time. And they are beautifully designed, they're just wholesome people. So we've got 57 of them now. This is Harriet, Sam and Bobby, Peter, Julian. That's Bernice, Harry, Brittany, Richard in a rush. 
I only have one doll in my collection. I don't think dolls are natural enough, and she proves it. <laughs> when they're sitting, their arms don't hang down. They stick out, and it gives me the creeps. <laughs> These are the horse people. This is Kelsey, Cindy, Cynthia, and this is a Glossy. Glossies are the original Love and Family dolls. They're vintage now. Can't get them anymore. You sort of start out buying everything you see and you're not very particular, but as you move through, you recognize the quality of the workmanship of the pieces that you're looking for. You develop an eye. All right, Heather, I've got my 57 people standing by. They want me to win. Okay, Martha, this is gonna be a great competition. So you better watch out. Sharpen up your X-Acto blade. This is the first time our contestants are getting to meet each other. Martha, this is Heather. Heather, Martha. Hello, Heather. Hi, Martha. I've brought Henry in my cheering section and his granddaughter, Kira. Yeah, well, we're going to do really well here. Yeah, I'm rooting for Martha. Let's go. What well, do you say about <laughs> Heather? I brought my toolkit, and I'm all ready to go. Let's see who will come out on top. Okay. Thank you. Round one is a test of knowledge. I will ask each contestant nine questions relating to the world of dollhouse miniatures. Whoever gets the most questions right wins round one. What era is the most popular time period that miniaturists like to collect? I thought we'd start easy. Heather, what is your answer? My answer is Victorian. Martha? My answer is Victorian. You both say it's Victorian, and Victorian is the answer. The most popular by far is the Victorian era, and by Victorian, I mean uh, 19th century England. One of the thoughts as to why it is so popular is because Victorians like to clutter. And so this just gives collectors like yourself one more excuse. Keep adding more and more stuff. Exactly, <laughs> add more and more stuff. Martha, you have one. Heather, you have one. Let's move on to question number two. The first ever recorded evidence of a dollhouse comes from 1558. Who commissioned it? <laughs> this is a tough one. Yes. Heather? My answer is the German emperor. Martha, who do you think it is? Well, my answer is the Sun King Louis XIV. Heather, you have the right country but the emperor is not the right answer. It was the Duke of Bavaria, Albrecht V. He ordered it for his daughter, but word has it, when he got it, he loved it so much that he kept it for himself. Ah. Poor girl. I can't blame him, though. Yeah, well, unfortunately, the whole dollhouse was destroyed in a fire in the 1670s, oh. so we can't even see oh, it today. You are still tied. Which company builds pre-assembled dollhouses for miniaturists that you cannot get in kits? It's a tough one. A guess is better than nothing. No. Heather? I, I don't know. This is my version of a question mark. Is it? <laughs> Thanks for telling well, at least me. I can make a better question mark than you can. Oh, yeah. The only company that only sells pre-assembled dollhouses is the house that Jack built. And they're completely built with windows, stairs, and doors. All you need to do is paint and decorate, which is usually the most fun part of it anyway, right? It sure is. Martha, one for you. Heather, one for you still. <laughs> Which queen's famous dollhouse is in Windsor Castle? Heather, you've got a smile on your face. You think you know this one? Martha, you should know this. Heather, what's your answer? Queen Mary. Oh, of course. Oh, no. Martha, what did you well, say? Well, I said Elizabeth and then Victoria, and I did, of course, Queen Mary. Heather, you got this one right. Queen Mary's dollhouse is on permanent display in Windsor Castle, and it is the most famous dollhouse in the world. It was commissioned for Queen Mary in 1921, partly to serve as a historical record for uh, houses at that time, but also partly as a tribute to the royal family after World War I, and the house is exquisite. 
I've seen it, and they have working elevators and, and running water. Running water. Yeah, it's amazing. That is Absolutely amazing. amazing. That's what you heard about it, but you did not get that right. Ah. You still have one. Ah. You are now up two. <laughs> Heather, let's see if you can uh, keep the momentum going here, Heather. Martha, let's pull them out of your miniature hat. <laughs> <laughs> What type of miniatures is artisan Ken Manning famous for? Mm. You got a smile on your face, Heather? <laughs> Tell me why you have a smile on your face. What is your answer? Uh -huh. It's musical instruments because I really want one of them. <laughs> oh, yeah? I don't what know do anything. you think? I don't know anything about this guy. I've never heard of him. Glass chandeliers? Yeah. Yes, Heather, you seem awfully confident and you're confident for a reason because the answer is musical instruments. Actually, stringed instruments. Cellos, harps, guitars, violins. His stuff is incredible. One inch scale, hand signed inside. And a case, in, in the case of violin, which I've been looking at and longing for. Oh, really? He, he also makes the cases for them as wow. well. You now have three, Heather. I do. Martha, you still have one. Oh, well. Looks like Heather's on a roll. You've got to catch up, Martha. OK. What silent film actress commissioned a one-inch scale fairy castle? Silent screen actress. I know it. Oh, I just can't think of her name. Is? I can't think of her name. Who do you think it is, Heather? I think it's someone with the last name of Fleming. Martha? Mary Pickford, America's Sweetheart. The answer is Colleen Moore. Ah. Oh. I, yeah. I wouldn't know. Heather! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Colleen Moore always loved dolls and dollhouses. And back in 1928, she had commissioned her dollhouse of her dreams. And it was called Fairy Castle because it looked more like an enchanted castle than it did a dollhouse, that's for sure. And the price tag for the entire dollhouse with all of its 2,000 plus miniatures inside, at the time, $500,000. Wow. Heather, you have three. Martha, you have one. Heather, if you get this right and Martha does not, you win round one of Collector Showdown. Oh. The test of knowledge, and then we go on to the test of skill. Martha, <laughs> if you get the next three right and Heather doesn't get any of them, then you win round one of Collector Showdown. All right. Get him closer to that fabulous mystery prize. Let's go for it. All right. All right. What is the name of the tool used for measuring three scales that should be every crafty miniaturist's best friend? I don't build stuff, so I don't know the answer to this, but I'll give it a shot. Well, I'm not sure about that either, but. And I build in three different scales, but... You don't have this particular tool. I'm not sure. Well, Let's see. It might see. have to be Let's one that see. you pick up. Let's Heather, yeah. what is your answer here? My answer is a ruler. My answer is a slide rule, but I don't think it goes in three. Slide rule? Well, you're both along the right line, but unfortunately, neither of you got this answer right. It's called a fig rule, and it's a triangular ruler that measures in one inch, quarter inch, and half inch on each side. And uh, it's very handy for somebody who is into many different scales. Fig rule? Yes. Yeah, I'm going to get one. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It'll be your new best friend after yes, this. Yes, that's right. Heather, you have three. Martha, you have one. There are only two questions left. This is what it all comes down to in this round. Most miniatures collect one inch scale miniatures. That's one inch in miniature equals one foot in real life. Now, if you were putting a doll house inside a one inch scale miniature house, what scale would that doll house be to be an accurate representation? Do a little bit of math here. Heather? I say one 1 44th inch scale. Martha? I say one to 48 inch scale. You know, Heather, if you got this one, you get round one. <laughs> 
if you were going to put a dollhouse inside a one inch miniature dollhouse, and that one inch miniature dollhouse equals 12 inches of real life, then it would have to be 1 12th of a 1 12th. One, one forty-fourth inch scale is the answer. Heather, hey, you won! Wow. Congratulations! <laughs> Thank you, thank you, that's so great. <laughs> I was really floored by the Colleen Moore question. I should have known that. And I was very sad that I didn't get the Queen Mary Windsor one. But that's just an obvious one that I just blanked out on. I'm really, really interested to know what the skill is. I've never built anything in my life, so if I have to build something, my two little people have to root for me. <laughs> Round one of Collector Showdown, Heather defeated Martha in the test of knowledge. Now Martha needs to win round two, the test of skill, to force the sudden death showdown tiebreaker. Now this is a skill where you are both evenly matched. We are going to test your design skills and your ability to recreate, your memory recall skills. I'm gonna give you 15 seconds to study a photograph of a fully furnished room. And I want you to memorize as many details as you can. Then I'm gonna take that photograph away and give you this empty room box and this pile of furniture oh. to accurately recreate this room the way it was in the photograph. And the person with the most number of correct pieces in the right places will win round two of Collector Showdown. And I should give you a warning. There are more pieces of furniture underneath this sheet than there are meant to be in this box. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh -oh. Heather, what do you think about your recall skills? Well, I'm hoping they're gonna be good. I love to make room boxes, so this should be fun. Martha? I'm looking at it as a fun thing, too. I do this with my daughter all the time, so we'll see. We have one box here, so only one of you will do this skills challenge at a time. Heather, since you won round one of Collector Showdown, you are going first. You're only gonna get 15 seconds, so you might wanna put your glasses on first. Okay, here we go. Ready, go. Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> Let's got go. one minute for this challenge. Remember, there's more furniture under here than what you need. Go! All right. I get to cheat here and look at the picture and see how you're doing. Lucky me. 20 seconds down, 40 seconds to go. Forty seconds down, twenty to go. Pressure is on. Five, four, three, two, one. Heather, put down those pieces you have in your hand. Okay. How do you think you did? Well, I'm hoping I did fairly well. Did one minute go by really quickly? It did. It's way too fast. Way too fast? Okay. okay. Let's see how you well, did, Heather. How did I do? Here's the photograph. Let's go through. Couch. Couch. It's the right one. You've got that one. One. You've got the right fireplace here. That's second one. You have the dog. It's not facing the right direction, but I'll give that one to you anyway. And I'll give you this one here, the fireplace screen. And you've got the table and the carpet. So that's six pieces. And I'm also going to give you the book because it is pretty much in the right location. If it were far off, I would not give it to you or if we're on the other side. Table? It's the right table. And it is the right table. Mm -hmm. Heather, you have eight here, correct? If this is more than what Martha gets, you win round two, you win Collector Showdown. That's it, game over. You will be taking our fabulous mystery prize. All right. Martha, you know the deal. 15 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and I'm taking it away. There you go. Going for it herself. Which fireplace was it? Oh my God. This is a tough challenge. Oh yes it is. I better get a couch in there and make it snappy, Martha. 
Was it this one or was it this one? Oh my God. 20 seconds left, Martha. down. Martha, before I show you this picture, yes. how do you think you did? Well, terrible. Look at all these different furniture I had to put in. <laughs> Maybe Heather didn't do too well either. That's it. You have no idea how Heather did? Let's go in and see how you did. Wrong fireplace. Wrong fireplace, but you got the right carpet right there. Okay. You oh, God. got this painting right here of this gentleman in the right place, which is great. I'm That's about around. it. That is about it. Wow. Got the right dog, but he is in the wrong place. Definitely on the wrong place. He was on the other side of the uh, of the room. So My daughter got... would have been better at this than me. She would have been good. Well, you got two right. Mm -hmm. Let's bring Heather in and find out how both of you did now. Okay. Martha, Heather, this is the room that you each had to oh, recreate. Oh gosh. Okay. That was a very, very tough challenge. We did not want to make it easier for either of you. It wasn't, believe me. Oh, I chose the wrong flowers. Are you ladies ready to see how you each did? Sure. I'm really interested, yeah. Me too. It was very tough, and I applaud both of your efforts. And I think I'm going to turn these around now before you both jump on top of me and strangle me. <laughs> Here you go. Heather, congratulations. Oh, you are the winner. Heather, you won. Ah, good for you. Wow. And now you get to claim that fabulous mystery prize. So what is it? <laughs> I can hardly wait to find out. Well, you're going to have to wait just one moment longer. Oh. <laughs> oh, you know, I really, really, really wanted to lie on that couch. That looked like a very comfortable couch. But Henry, that was the wrong couch. Oh, dear. <laughs> I didn't like all the stress of it. I'm going into grade two next year. If they ask me questions like that, I don't know what's going to happen to me. You didn't win here today, but you are not going to leave here completely empty handed. It's a consolation prize. It's a consolation prize. One year membership to the Miniature Enthusiast of Toronto, the Met Club, so that you can meet tons of other people who wow. are into miniatures just as much as you. Well, that's a great thing. Yeah. Thank you very much, Sonia. Well, you're welcome. Excellent. You're I'll be there. Let's go. <laughs> Heather, I know you make a lot of your own miniatures, but I also know there are a lot of miniatures that you can't make. You're right. <laughs> so as the Fabulous Mystery Prize, today you have $1,000 to spend. Whoa! Oh my gosh! In yes. this store right. here, oh, in this yeah. store. <laughs> Today, so luckily you have the help of Maria. She's going to help you around the store, and you're going to need the help because you know what? Oh, no. Oh, yes. <laughs> you're going to time me. We are. You have five minutes starting now to All right. shop. All right. All right. <laughs> I know where she's going. <laughs> Ken Manning? Yes. <laughs> oh, the violin. OK. Oh, that is so great! The violin with oh. the case. That's four fifty. Oh, four fifty. Half done. Half done. Oh my wow. goodness! All right, keep going. Okay. All right. Uh, <laughs> what's next, Heather? <laughs> I don't know. What would you like, Heather? Uh, you were showing me that beautiful cupboard that opened up. Do you still have one of those? Well, the one with the lights in it? No, no. It was it was handmade from the fella from China. Oh, uh -huh. that one. One minute I down. I do. It's 365 considered bought. How's that? Okay. All right. All right. Is that okay? Yeah. That's great. $50 Okay, left. so we have $50. $50 <laughs> left. Uh, and two and a half minutes left to spend it. Oh, okay. So I can I can be... Uh... You can take your time. All right. Oh. <laughs> yes, I think I'll take one of those necklaces. So I'd like this one here. And we're done. Oh, that's great. Would you like oh to wear it? Oh, sure. <laughs> wow. Thank Did you. we make your day? Oh, I Did made we... my day. You've made my year. This is incredible. Wow. I don't win things as a rule, but this is just, just marvelous. Just marvelous. 
look at this. This is there's a bow, and there and it comes with its own case, and it's 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 got hair in it. It's just amazing. <laughs> this is the famed Ken Manning violin. This is in perfect scale, impeccably made. It is hollow on the inside, made just like the just like the real thing, and as, as we said earlier, very, very much sought after and enjoy and it. And yours. There it is. <laughs> there it is, and we'll put oh a little goodness. package. And this piece here is um, in gold, on gold wire, an Austrian crystal necklace. This comes to us all the way from Germany. I have a beautiful jewelry box made by a, a Canadian artisan that I'll put it in. It's just uh, going to be beautiful there. So that's your necklace. Last but not and least. last but not least, this is a Bent Rosewood Armour. Uh, this is a Ming Dynasty reproduction and made just like they were back then. Everything is impeccably finished. If you actually turn these through, these are pinned and they will turn just like the, the just real like thing. the real, real thing. Uh, so absolutely beautiful piece. Oh. That and is amazing. Show and tell at our club is going to be very exciting for me this <laughs> this time. I can't believe it. So it's not a ton it. of pieces, but the ones you picked, oh, they're absolutely they're spectacular. Just wonderful. <laughs> oh, you can hardly believe it. You can hardly believe it. Well, those are yours. Oh, thank you. You're this welcome. Is amazing. You're welcome. <laughs> we will see you next time when two more collectors showdown for the experience of a lifetime. You're shaking, Heather. I am. Yeah. I am. I've been get wanting one of these for years. This is why I said I knew where she was going. And what's really special about it is that my grandfather taught violin, yeah. and I took violin lessons for my grandfather. And so, you know, when he passed away, violins meant a lot to me, so this is going to have a real special place in my house. It's violins mean a lot to you, miniatures yes. mean a oh, lot to yes. you. And now you have, like, a probably the finest he is. violin Click on screen for more videos of extraordinary humans.